after a long time, I decided to check out this Tesla Mate app for monitoring um, my Tesla. In the past, I've been using Tesla Fi. Um, this is a paid service, $50 a year, not too expensive. It does the job. Uh, but with Tesla Fi, I can only, I have, you have to pay $50 per car uh, for everything. And I figured I'd check out Tesla Mate. I was able to get it installed on my Raspberry Pi 3B, the 3. And these are the steps that I followed. I'll post a link in here. Um, it's a great write up uh, by uh, pimplifeup.com. Strictly speaking, you should be able to uh, set up your Raspberry Pi. And once you're ready, run through an update upgrade, install Docker Composer, set up the Docker user, reboot or log out, log back in. Create the folder, create the um, change into the folder direct the directory. Um, and then here you'll create a YAML uh, Docker Compose YAML file, and you go ahead and set it up using this uh, example they provided here. Make sure to replace the encryption, you know, make up an encryption key, uh, something for you, for you, make it very make it as long as you can. Uh, same thing here, create a password for the database that's posted here. You're going to have to add the, the password, um, database password a few times. And then you set that up and then you go ahead and you, you go ahead and you execute that file. You run it. Um, and then it, after a few minutes, uh, it'll be complete and you should be able to have access to your Docker, um, to your, to your setup, to your Tesla mate. Uh, once when it's done, it's going to look something like this here at the bottom. Okay, that's my my uh, Raspberry Pi. And then from there, I actually use the Windows um, Tesla Authent Off app. Downloaded it from here, and it was it, I was able to um, generate the authentication codes needed for. Um, for me to be able to log into my Tesla Tesla Mate uh, group, Grafana page, and, and well, first I log into Tesla Mate, and then I'm able to actually see all three vehicles that I have. Um, what's really neat here, I want to kind of show you guys because it took me a little bit, a little bit while to find out if I want to change the units. I want to use kilometers or miles or Fahrenheit or Celsius or PSI or bar and come here and change it per car or vehicle. If, I, if you have recent charging, you can check the box here for the vehicle that has recent charging. I can see all three of my vehicles here, uh, set my settings. And then when I go to Grafana, I just up, I just reload, reload Grafana and I'm able to gain access. Taking a quick step back, once you set up here, you're going to again use the Tesla Auth app to generate your access token and refresh token. Then you'll be able to log into Tesla Mate. Then on port 3000, um, you should be able to access Grafana and see all your lovely, lovely charts. So this is this is really neat. Um, I literally just set this up. I'm gonna check it out for the next couple of days and see how it's going. Uh, but what's great is I can see all the three vehicles that I have, all three Teslas. Um, actually, Clint is my Tesla. Um, the EV here is uh, a friend of mine's Tesla uh, that I that she gives me, gives me access to because I help her a lot. And the bottom one here is my mom's Tesla Model 3. And you can hopefully, we'll be able to hopefully track it. Um, just like you, you, I've been able to track um, using Tesla 5, but now it's hosted here. Um, I, I love it. This is just sort of my own Tesla on my own Raspberry Pi. It's actually on my Raspberry Pi server that I use for um, my ad blocker. So it's pretty cool. Uh, here's some, let's check out the, let's browse. We can go to Grafana. We can go to here, Tesla Mate. You know, we can see charge level, charge stats. Um, none of the vehicles are charging right now. Efficiency. I, again, I just set it up, so I have no data here. But again, what's great is I can see 
all of the data for three vehicles. If you have multiple Tesla vehicles on your account, uh, you'll be able to see all of that statistics. Again, I don't have much here, so I don't really have any data in the coming days. I'll have some data and I'll post it here for you.